heard you and Mr. Young <coughs> tell us about that. Um, well, like um, Figo said, it's it's always easier if there's information available to you, and um, there's a lot in both characters. Uh, and then you know you deal with it. And, you know that's the sort of fear element. You know that there is somebody that has a sort of very uh, passionate and vocal following and loyal. Um, so you know you wanna you wanna do justice to the character. You wanna sort of you know do justice to, to David. And to Christopher's script, and it's kind of you know echoing a lot from what Vigo said, you know as well. The, the main thing for me was to ta tackle you know a very eloquent, muscular piece of uh, dialogue, which sort of is kind of, I sort of tried to treat it as a piece of music, you know. Uh, and so I, I spent a lot of time with the text, um, trying to sort of you know get the rhythms and find the different rhythms and, and just get a real sort of um, power uh, uh, over the dialogue because, you know, again, we're dealing with a period in time when, you know, discourse, especially in the academic world, this was, you know, it's a weapon. And, uh, if you're not uh, in charge of it, then you're going to get destroyed. So that was an element that needed work. Uh, and then, you know, you just sort of put it all together and see what you come up with. You know, I, th I, th I think what, what, what's interesting when you're dealing with like real heavyweight characters like this, real revered characters, that you find out that there's human beings underneath there that, that um, have egos and, and have very sort of basic and obvious flaws. Uh, and, and to play with those elements uh, is, 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 is also fun. Thank you. I'll take, I'll take questions as soon as I see how. Order came um, like a dangerous method, X Men. And then shame. So I was manipulating metal in between both of them. Um, uh, it, it's funny because when I do something, I sort of I'm sort of in that, and it's sort of you know a very intense sort of uh, time, uh, and the preparation and the filming of it, and then I kind of discard it pretty quickly, uh, and um, and so when I was doing shame, I didn't even think uh, about the parallels, or I didn't even think could I take some information from what I had gathered from Dangerous Method. I might have been doing it subconsciously, <laughs> um, but uh, I, I certainly wasn't aware of it. I have to say that, you know, as I've told Michael before, really, his performance in Shame is really just Michael. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, whereas, whereas you know, Young is a real performance. You know, so. I did get some footnotes from David. <laughs>